What is it? Is that first off? I don't think I've ever seen when there were 21 points scored in the third quarter of an MLL game. 12 was the record for the most scored, and we wound up scoring 13. I think that third quarter seemed like it lasted three years long. Let it fly, baby. <laughs> I thought we did a good job running from defense to offense, and I thought the other opportunity that we thought might present itself is running off the faceoff. Because when their, their faceoff guy lost the ball, he, stepped, he just ran off the field. And we thought we could get a bunch of six on five breaks, and we did. And we kept putting pressure on them. We were a man down, so it was a man down faceoff. They won the ball forward. And one of the things we wanted to do is not give him an easy outlet to the wing. Back in front. Fifth lead change of this game. And the ball goes out of bounds. Two chest. Shot and a goal. Another two-point goal. Second of the game for Chesapeake. As getting that one was Matt Reese. The long poles in this league are guys that are charismatic with the ball in their stick, can pick the ball off the ground, and are offensive. Most of the teams are looking for those kind of players. The down low guys, the close defensive guys, they're more of your stoppers. So you look for a guy, you know, the most valuable commodity is a guy who can do both. He can play defense, get the ball off the ground, and run in transition. And I think C.J. Costable with a two and a, and a dodging goal, so he had three real goals, and then Sean Mayo had one off a kind of a hitch move and under his first MLL goal. Passes it back up. Step, shot, score! And again, with the long pole, Sean Mayo, the former DU pioneer, gets his first career goal. We, we get to Denver, and he pulls his groin in pregame warm-up. And so he came back and said, I don't know if I'm going to play. So we taped him up pretty good, and he got out there and he said he could play. And uh, for him to play, you know, what he is is he's a coach on the field. You know, he's a very smart player, and he makes everybody around him better. And that was one of the reasons why we traded for him, because we wanted it. We, we have a few guys that can dodge with the ball. We need some guys that can play without it and also share the ball, and that's what Steel Stanwick does. Bachlet joins the double team. Abbott still has it, swinging in front, score! Steele Stanwick with his fourth goal of the game. Able to set up on the power play, shot, score! Josh Byrne has it going on right now. You know, it's funny, when, when I saw Josh Byrne play when he was a senior in college, I called Coach Reese at the time and said, I think I just saw the best player in the country that nobody knows about. Because he had ability to not only, you know, to catch and shoot, but he had the ability to make his own shot and he was also a good feeder. And so he's a guy that hopefully, you know, him coming back is going to give us a little bit of a burst on our offense. And, and you already saw the difference that he and Steele Stanwick made in, in one game. So, you know, we have the ability to be good on six on six when we get all our pieces. And we have the ability to be good in transition. And so those two, com that combination, you can, you can put a lot of points on the board. Josh Burns sets this up. He drops his whole entire body and he just lifts this thing top drawer. Wow. He's impressive. This kid is impressive. Back to Denver. Good back check. Knocked the stick right out of the hand of the Denver player. And now bodies flying all over the place as Gilray's down. He's hurt. Chesapeake has the ball, but we'll get out. You can feel the intensity picking up here 
as these two teams a little bit agitated by the rough stuff. I, I wanted them to play with heart. I wanted them to play without fear, and I wanted them to play for each other. And I thought we were being a little too scholarly at that point, and we needed to bring the wood and the hammer and to play with just great effort and energy. And so that was the reason why I came over there and joined that huddle, said enough's enough. We got to start to play defense now, and we got to start to care. And, uh, and our guys care, but I just wanted them to kind of up the uh, intensity level. Right back on the power play. Just getting hacked at, chopped at. CJ Costabile trying, treating Josh Hawkins like he's a tree stump. We love Coach, and he loves us, and we have we have a pretty tight knit group. So when Coach gets upset and he really wants us to do something, like we listen, and um, he does get us going. And I think that kind of turned it, turned the table for us, and we started being a more physical team, the tougher team, getting the ground balls, making the hits, um, and that really helped. He's he's our leader. We listen to him. Shot, save made by Amato, ball loose out front, he scoops it up. Is that the kind of shot you want? No. Six on four? Not necessarily, he was too far out. I mean, usually when you're six on four, you really want to get that defense spinning, and then you want to go opposite side. Usually you want something on the doorstep, something easy. But that was an opportunity, you know, that could have been a game changer for them, and it wound up being a game changer for us. As we got to two man stop, and Nico makes a point black save, we clear it and then wind up going to score in the next possession. Well, is getting it is Josh Byrne. And just like that, the 5-0 run is over. Hawkins fires! Save made by Amato on that two-point attempt. Just speak as it back. Shot, two-point goal! Ripped home by Miles Jones. Third two-point goal of the game for Chesapeake. And just like that, we're tied at 15. Yeah, you know, just out there having fun. I, I think he's been unbelievable for us. He's been unselfish. Uh, he's, you know, he struggled a little bit shooting on a run early in the year, but he started working on it two weeks ago, and he made two shots on the run last week that are big for us. But I, I've never, ha I've never questioned Miles' vision and his ability to share the ball. Now, we, what we had to do is reduce the amount of bad plays that he made, and in the last two games, he's been excellent. <laughs> I always tell people, if you're playing a sport, you're not having fun doing it. If you're not smiling and having a good time, you're playing for the wrong reason. Um, obviously, you know, competing is always fun, but uh, just having a good time out there with your teammates is, is always, always the key. And you know, me, you know, just, I'm, I'm the happy-go-lucky kind of guy. You know, when I'm out there having a good time, we're, we're usually doing pretty well as a team. As evidenced by that two-point goal, that's their fourth, fourth two-point goal of the game. That's Ryan Tucker. Chesapeake had no two-point goals through the first three games of the season. They have four today. And this ball is a vomit. And the fact that he bounced that thing to the upper deck, I mean, that ball was going for three bills. I mean, that had to be going 100 miles an hour. For it to generate that much velocity to bounce that high off of a wet turf and go up in the upper corner, woo. Miles Jones. Gonna go one on one with a chance to score. Three seconds. Nice pass. Score! Right at the buzzer. Zeros on the clock. Goal by Maloney. And Chesapeake runs over to meet Maloney. What a pass by Miles Jones, who did not panic with the clock going down out of the corner of his eye. Saw Maloney. And Maloney with the clear cut score on Kelly. And it's the Bayhawks roll. He's in before the ball went in. I think the iPad was, uh, and I told Jordan Henry, who set it up for us, I think the iPad was one of the differences in the game because we had picked up a couple other goals that probably should have been uh, challenged and, and, and taken away. I thought the iPad was a big difference, and I also thought our ability to just stay in the moment, stay in the present, was a real key to that game. Face off, one by Thomas Kelly. Has it, clean. Gets a step, he's gonna shoot. Oh, a save made by Amato. What a save by Nico Amato. There was a push. Uh, you know, Denver's a really good offense. They pose a lot of challenges, and uh, 
You know, obviously they got 22 shots or 22 goals on the board. Thankfully, our offense balled out and had 24 points. But um, you know, as much work as it requires per game, I'm ready to, you know, stand in the cage for 60 minutes or longer. Why not? Everybody else with a long pulse game. And when he dropped the ball, dropped the ball. Maybe a case of just holding on to it too long, and now a chance to go. Oh, what a moment there. It's a huge step in the right direction. You know, this league, it always comes down to, at the end of the year, you know, a game or so, and that game always boils down to one or two plays. So, so winning a game like this on the road during this tough road stretch, um, it's huge. Denver needs to get the ball back. Burn has it. Pass in front, score! This win is amazing, just to get back on track, be at 500, you know, just keep it moving. We've had four away games, or we've had three, and we're going to have another one coming up next week. Just keep rolling, keep getting Ws. And I think our team's in the right mindset. We've got the right culture going on in our locker room. You know, this game's hard. You know, it's, it's a hard league to play if you only have one foot in, so finding guys that have two feet in is very important. We're all starting to mesh. I mean, we have a great time. We have great chemistry, so... It was good for us. And you, you, sometimes it's how much you care about your teammate that'll make the difference in a game. And I thought our spirit, the way we cared about each other, the way we celebrated with each other is where we're, we need to continue to grow as a team. So I was, it was a very positive afternoon for us. Here we go. Snyder stops. They're going to have to yeah. down to seven. They brought Simon in. Now they got, they got the look they want. Here's the shot. Save made by Amato. And that'll do it. Terrific game.